Now in this question then we're given that f of x is equal to 5 cos x plus 12 sine x and asked to write f of x in the form r cos x minus alpha where r is a constant and alpha is an angle in radians between naught and pi over 2. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, you should know this particular set of formulae. So I've just brought them up here. Whenever you get this kind of pattern structure, which we often refer to as being one of these expressions on the left here, okay? In this particular case, we've got 5 cos x plus 12 sine x. That's this kind of expression here, a cos x plus b sine x. And you can see that it's identical to r cos x minus alpha, just as we got here. And it can be always shown that r is always equal to the constant a squared plus b squared, all square rooted. And the angle alpha is always the inverse tan of b over a. So make sure, if you haven't done so already, that you're familiar with these kind of expressions, these four expressions and how you can rewrite them in these particular formats. So assuming that you are aware of this, okay, what we can do is that you can compare this then the 5 cos x plus 12 sine x with this statement here, this expression here, and you'll see that a corresponds to the 5. So in this particular example, a is going to be 5. And the b value here, okay, is going to be the 12. So b equals 12. And so that means that r is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. So I'm going to write that in over here. So r equals the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. And if you work that out, that's the square root of 25 plus 144, which is the square root of 169, which is 13. And as for the angle alpha, alpha equals the inverse tan then of the b value, that's 12 over a, which is 5. And if you work this out on your calculator, make sure your calculator is in radians mode, obviously. So that is 1.176 naught naught and so on. That's radians. And we've been asked to give our answer for alpha to three decimal places. So that's going to be 1.176 radians, so you can write that in as radians, or don't forget you could write a little c there if you wanted to, one or the other. I'll just rub that c out though. Okay, two, three decimal places. And that brings us to the end of this section.